Hey there, I'm so glad to show you my new creation. That is a new handmade solar power plant. It is small but mighty and it can generate 220 volts, just like a socket does. I can use it when it's cloudy and even at night, due to the battery it has. Do not underestimate its power, it can provide constant current with a power up to 500 watts. And that is just what I need to source all devices you see now. The 34 solar cells are the basis of the station. Each one has half a volt or 4 amperes. The case is this glass frame covered with the epoxy adhesive. To provide high efficiency, I need to remove air bubbles between the cells and the glass. This will decrease the mirroring losses. The epoxy adhesive is famous for providing the nice thermal contact between the glass and the cells. Owing to this, the chromium solar panels don't overheat. All cells are soldered consequently right now. I cover them with the epoxy adhesive too, to protect it from moisture. All frames of the case are made from aluminium. And the glass is simply glued to them. And there is some aluminium in the middle right now. I'm going to attach there the electronics. Let me tell you about cloudy weather and night usage. Now you see the batteries which accumulate the energy during the day. And also the power output has increased because of the batteries. I have been dissembling the iPhone's power banks to make the batteries. Then I used 3C11T scheme, which means 3 consequently and 11 in parallel. Any other batteries will do as well. The only thing you need to get – 12 volts. I use the charge balancer to make the batteries charge correctly. The balancers protect the batteries from the overcharging as well, prevents them from being empty and makes batteries charge simultaneously. You may know that the lithium batteries mustn't be charged without protection. If you try to charge them directly, I've connected the balancer to the batteries according to the scheme, and the cells from the other side using the Schottky diode, which I've got from my old computer's power supply. To turn 12 volts into 220, I use a car inverter, which has an approximated sine wave. Inverters like this are more efficient than any simple sine inverters. To make sure the efficiency and minimize the losses, always use a short and thick wire. That's it! It is done! Now let's check it out. Let's switch on the inverter. I have added two indicators. One shows the charging percentage and another shows the current consuming. If you know the voltage, you will know the accumulator's charge. 100% charging means 12.5 volts. 9 volts means zero charging, so battery is empty. And the inverter will turn off, because there will be not enough voltage. Looking at the amperage indicator, we can see how much volts is consuming right now. Let's have a look how it's working. I have sourced the radio, laptop, a lamp, a cell phone and a fan. And all is working! Though I used one of the cheapest inverters. As it found out, all electronics work stably and good with it. This means that buying an expensive one isn't a must. The maximum power we've got is 500 watts. The inverter has a very high efficiency. That's why the transformer in it starts hitting hard. So there is a little fan to help it. A sun power station like this will be very helpful where there is no sources of electricity around. In any distant places or in a car, for camping or picnic. If you want, you may install it on the top of your car. And from that moment you may stop worrying about your device's charge level. It may come in handy in the house too, during the blackouts. You can also use its accumulators inside during the night. And fill up the batteries again in the morning. Let me give you some specifications of the batteries. The total capacity of the accumulators is 230 watt hours. And this means I can source a laptop and many other small appliances for 24 hours when it's cloudy. In a sunny weather, the panel gives out 50 watts. It isn't much, but the current is constant. 
If you won't eat all electricity out of the batteries with a powerful device, you will have enough for a day. And the batteries will charge up quickly. I will never be afraid of blackouts, because I will make it easily. I have created a renewable source of electricity for myself. Previously I made a very small USB solar plant. That time I used 12 cells and a little power bank. Check it out if you want. There comes a giant solar power station. I've got almost all I need to build it already. So guys, soon you will see a power station which can source one or two houses. And your donations will help me.